Okay, so we had some questions that people posted into the thread that I created, um, just so people are aware for future events. Um, I'll share my screen temporarily and just show where you would have went. So in the sidebar under suggestions, I created a thread for this AMA. Please don't add questions there now. We can use the, the stage chat from, from now on, but um, that's where I'll be pulling these initial questions from. So I'll just stop sharing my screen. Okay, so uh, the first question came from Dennis, which was, can you tell us clear numbers of how many backers have got their units and how many were to backers that hadn't paid extra? Uh, yes. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm very happy to be here and thank you guys uh, uh, for joining uh, to, to this uh, conversation. And, uh, and, and welcome on our official channel. Uh, of course, the old channel is still exist and, and you can uh, discuss there and, and uh, talk there uh, to each other. Uh, but the official announcements and, and the activities uh, will be on this channel. And uh, yeah, and I'm happy uh, to be here and I hope we can make uh, some uh, uh, frequent uh, discussion here, maybe every two, two weeks or every month or something like that but uh, we will discuss about that uh, later. So, so regarding the question, uh, we, we delivered about, uh, about 200 units so far, uh, counting the, uh, the YATU and, and YAS3 together. From YAS3, we delivered about 40, uh, around uh, 40 units. And uh, from this 40, uh, around 10 people was who not paid and 30 people uh, paid. Uh, and yeah, so the, these are the basic numbers. Uh, so unfortunately, the majority of uh, our backers have not received yet uh, their devices, as, as you as you know. Uh, and, and we are working on that. So so these are the, the draft or not draft, but the raw numbers. Uh, um, Dennis also asked, now that the footrest has been remodeled, how come we haven't seen any more of um, the gaming rig anywhere? I'm not really sure what he means there. So if you think you know what he means. Um, uh, the gaming, gaming frame maybe. I, I think that might be what it is. Yeah, yeah the, gaming frame, the gaming frame is absolutely on the table. Uh, so we will come up with that uh, soon. It's not really related to the uh, to the leg rest because uh, those are two completely different uh, parts so so we we are designing a little bit uh, the leg rest to make it uh, more uh, rigid um, partly there will be some kind of uh, uh, upgrade kit uh, for for the backers and and customers who already bought uh, yasri we will. We can, if if you want, uh, we can provide you a small kit uh, with which you can just fix uh, the uh, the leg rest uh, uh, to the very uh, front part of the uh, device. But uh, in some cases, it's not super necessary. So, for example, for me, uh, I didn't notice that uh, too much flexibility. I, I could uh, play. Uh, with uh, with the current design uh, well, but I understand if if somebody is um, uh, is concerned about the flexibility. So we are working on two solutions. One is a a simple kit. Uh, basically, it will be a extrusion and two uh, two screws. Uh, what you can just apply relatively easily uh, to your device. And in the future, we will. We might replace the leg rest uh, from the two by four centimeters to uh, four by four centimeters. So it it should be definitely uh, more stronger or more rigid, and uh, there will be a built-in solution: this uh, front fixing 
fixation system or I don't know. <laughs> um, so it will be built in in the future. And that is what if you ask us, then we will be able to send it out uh, to you uh, as a as a upgrade kit. But uh, we we still need about two, at least two weeks uh, to to produce it, test it. Um, and and then it will be available for our previous customers. So just to clarify that in a little bit more plain language from our discussion yesterday, you're going to do a solution that are for people who've already received your threes to improve the strength. And then the four by four requires a hardware change to the yaw. So that's an, a further iteration of the yaw. Um, and so that won't necessarily be available to yeah. everyone who's exactly. already got one. And this kit, we, we will not, uh, we will send out the kit automati automatically uh, to our previous Existing. customers mm -hmm. because not everybody uh, has a concern or, or looking at this issue as an issue. Uh, so, so we will send it out if you request it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Will there be a page where people can request it or do you want people to just email to request it? Uh, you mean, sorry, please again. The method that people would request if they want it. Um, like I assume mm -hmm. you don't want everyone to just start emailing right now because you don't have it ready yet. Um, would, yeah, um, yeah uh, I think we will send out a, a notice or something. I, 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 honestly, I don't know the answer about uh, that question. Yeah. Uh, so we will figure it uh, figure it out. Uh, how can we just uh, notify our, our previous customers if we need this uh, part or not? Sure. <clears throat> um, okay. So from Giovanni, for backers who received a your two po a your to pro pitch roll unit, but not their rotation platform. What are their options? Will they eventually get a full your three upgrade, including the rotation or something else? Uh, so what we can offer uh, to, to that, uh, uh, to the guys in this situation is that, so unfortunately the rotation, the old rotation, it's uh, for us, it's not really, possible to continue the production because it would be super complicated uh, for us because we have YAS3 mm -hmm. uh, and and to and and it's it's a relatively small uh, number and the uh, that rotation connection between the 2D and rotation is not super how can I say reliable uh, so so our offer for for these guys is that there there are two options for them one is that uh, if if he or she choose this option we can refund for the rotation platform so we can refund the part of uh, his or her payment uh, what is for the rotation platform it's it's depending on when uh, when it was uh, uh, pledged. Yep. It could be from three hundred dollars to five hundred or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can refund this uh, part uh, basically immediately if he or she requests. Uh, but there is another option what we can offer. It's a little bit similar to the uh, to the uh, extra payment for our backers. So if he decides to choose the second option, it will be, we can provide a, a, a coupon uh, yeah. with, with uh, he or she can use for buy a YAS3. So for example, if, if he or she had a, a payment for uh, $2,000, then we can give uh, a $2,000 coupon, uh, coupon so so it it will be possible to buy a yas3 for uh, the original price minus two thousand dollars and Sorry. of course uh, or she can keep uh, the the a2 so he, he can still use it or sell it or or something yeah so effectively they'll get a coupon for the amount that they paid in the kickstarter that goes towards the or three yeah yeah okay. exactly that sounds pretty fair to me um I mean, it's actually really good because they've gotten something else for free already. But um, all right, so we've already done shipping numbers. 
Uh, will the remodeled footrest be added to the website shop and a discount? I know we've already covered that. So there will be a, a solution for existing your customers. Um, okay, from Ashram, he asked about uh, when do you intend to open refunds? I expect that's going to be after you've delivered to everyone who wants a unit, is it? Or uh, not not exactly. So our plan is that when we uh, when we establish our our, our operation, let's say, mm -hmm. I mean we we can start to uh, make profit. Uh, profit means. Uh, profit for for our backers mm -hmm. uh, then after a while uh, our backers can decide if they want refund or or delivery because if so, i want to be totally honest sometimes it's uh, it's cheap. for us it's easier <laughs> to give a refund yeah. as to deliver a device so so in some cases it's easier for us but uh, but right now uh, we we cannot unfortunately we are not in the financial situation to to provide this for for everyone mm -hmm. uh, but after a while we we slowly will be able to open uh, the refund uh, possibility even before we delivered all the units mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully some somewhere in next year uh, okay, so I don't it's basically know yet, so it's and Basically, when yes, the sorry. when basically when the financial situation improves and you're making profit, you'll be able to start offering refunds. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, exactly. cool. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find. Um, all right. Sorry, he also asked about what's the status with the possible investor. Uh, we, uh, it's uh, let's say I'm optimistic. I'm still optimistic because the the due diligence is ongoing, and uh, the potential investor will visit us uh, end of November. So the due diligence will be closed around middle of November. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't know anything about how will it uh, uh, run out. I mean, we don't know is the result of the due diligence what mm -hmm. will be the questions and and stuff like that we, we are over uh, some questioning uh, uh, with the lawyer office uh, but uh, but we know just that uh, the the due diligence will be closed middle of this uh, month mm -hmm. and uh, the the potential investor will visit us end of the month and we hope we hope we still can uh, sign uh, a contract uh, this year mm. but uh, but i i at this point, at this point i they cannot haven't said tell no, any, so yeah any short stuff so unfortunately it's not up to us we are we are very optimistic or i am very optimistic uh, of course i'm optimistic and every day i'm a little bit concerned that why we didn't sign yet uh but it's it's the is the nature of this uh, process uh so 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 far so good and and i hope uh, there will be a signage somewhere this year yeah um basically they haven't said no yet so it's still ongoing so um, yeah, absolutely. um absolutely uh i think it was ashram that asked what happened to the funds from the property sale, which was supposed to be used to build back a units and or refund. So. Uh, yeah, we continuously using that fund, uh, for, for, for every, basically for everything. So it's very hard to, uh, how can I say color the, that, uh, money. Uh, so we, we are producing, uh, the units for, for our backers. Of course, I understand that it's, it's disturbing that. We, we are getting uh, extra payment from uh, from our backers, but it's still their own decision, and it helps us uh, to to grow and and start the delivery to our non non paying uh, uh, 
uh, backers okay. yeah. and and already 10 backers uh, got uh, their unit without payment so it's not not uh, so it's not uh, our this extra payment doesn't mean that nobody can get their device but we are still in a in a hard situation i see a little little light uh, at the end of the tunnel i don't know if this yeah. uh, expression exists in english but in hungary we say that uh so so i'm i'm uh slowly or or uh so i'm optimistic uh and i hope we can we can show up some growth uh, in the following uh, weeks and months and uh, and then there will be more and more people who get their device without uh, extra payment yeah so basically I'll summarize it again. You, you had to keep the business running. So some of that money obviously went towards keeping the business running, but it also helped you deliver units. So yeah, exactly. Exactly. And every, every uh, delivered unit for regular customers help us to provide uh, another unit to backers. paying or not paying uh, uh, backers. But also I assume paying backers also increase the amount of units that you can deliver to non-paying backing backers yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. exactly exactly but uh you know it's um uh, unfortunately it's um uh, it's uh uh i don't know in english exactly so it's depending on the size of the business so as much we as more as we can uh produce yeah. Yeah. uh as much we can produce for our non uh paying uh backers i mean they paid so uh, and not extra paying backers let's yeah, say yeah. i don't want yeah um, well i mean just logically for me the more the more units you ship that have more of the base cost paid for then the more units that you can ship to backers who aren't paying extra so yeah exactly yeah. exactly and uh, it's it's depending on so the, the main reason of that is our our uh, basic uh, costs to run the company which is a, a, a static let's say a yep, static uh, cost yep. uh, and if you can produce more device then this cost will uh, lower and lower mm -hmm. for one unit yep okay um we've already had that um the Cessna cockpit do you have anything to say about that like is it still a thing Yes, uh, so the hard, we, we are basically today we were working on that. Uh, 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 yes, so, I, so I, that today I, we, I, we were working on that uh, device. I mean that part of the unit. So we are building, started uh, to rebuild uh, this cockpit. Uh, there are, basically there are two development process. One is the hardware part, uh, what we started again over, uh, start over in the last couple of days uh, and uh, and we are working on the the infuse vr part where we have a, a a great progress in the development because now we i i already have seen a, a very early prototype but we can visualize the hand and in the same time the uh, tra uh, the controllers and it's a it's a very important uh, development for even for the VR and even for Infuse VR, because uh, because if he, if we have a controller, what we can fix on uh, on the A3, mm. then we can not just do a very nice uh, motion compensation without any complication, without any extra settings or something. You so you just put your controller on your unit, and uh, and the motion compensation immediately works uh but in the same time we can use that controller uh not just for motion compensation but for the uh virtual uh to align uh, where devices. align where devices uh, are in the virtual space yeah, yeah. yeah. and even the cockpit calibration so mm. cockpit calibration means if you have a a physical cockpit which is for example the same as in in uh, explain or something or Microsoft Flight Simulator, mm -hmm. then we have a function with which you can synchronize the position of the virtual cockpit and your physical cockpit. Mm -hmm. But of course, you have to place uh, your 
patterns and uh, and accessories uh, on the same place as in the virtual space mm -hmm. and then you can just use your your cockpit as a as a virtual cockpit uh, and and the, the the result will be super immersive so that is one point and for uh aviation so for our aviation product it's an essential uh function because that is the main idea behind the for aviation product that we create a let's say blank cockpit with the buttons but without any screen and stuff like that and we synchronize that cockpit with the virtual one so that's why it's uh, yeah. it's important for us uh, this uh, this infuse development uh, with which the first prototype will be ready hopefully next week because uh, I even I today uh, already have seen a, a great progress uh, on that. Uh, so hopefully the uh, very early prototype will be ready for next next week. I'm not one hundred percent sure, but uh, I, I hope it. Uh, and then it will be released very very soon. And and then our aviation cockpit will get uh, just a, a boost uh, yeah. finish it. Uh, as soon as possible yeah um just for everyone else um i because i've been testing some of the versions of infuse and ge um it was good enough for me to sell my sell my valve index um steam vr headset in favor of just using the quest so and i I'd, I'd been very yeah i'd been very sort of not in not impressed i guess by infuse the first time i tried it some time ago um, because prior to that, I'd been using Steam VR tr trackers as my motion compensation, and it was just so accurate compared. But the controller based tracking with Infuse VR is just as good, in my opinion. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, it's here just one more one more addition for this topic. So we just moved the whole motion compensation for the headset. So mm -hmm. so uh, previously the motion compensation was running on the PC and uh, and and get uh, the headset position from the headset and and we use the uh, the uh, uh, sorry a Steam VR uh, motion compensation solution, which is not the steam vr but the maybe the open, open vr, VR yeah. uh, motion compensation and uh, and it caused some delays and unprecisity if i'm not wrong in english uh, but now we move the whole stuff on the headset side and we on the headset we manipulate manipulate the uh, the headset v position yeah. directly. Yeah. Uh, I mean the camera position directly. Mm. So that's why the new motion compensation is is according to my experience or my opinion is quite smooth and yep. and, uh, and so it's it's just great. I I just felt uh, I posted in my last videos that I cannot feel any delay, but mm. liter literally. A nanosecond de delay, I cannot, uh, yeah. cannot notice. Uh, I think it was the same for me. Like I didn't have any noticeable delay. Uh, one thing I will say, which you didn't cover there, just because someone did ask the question. One of the things I think that is also really good about Infuse, I'm aware that it's only useful if you have an Android based headset, but it is one solution that works for both open XR games and open VR games. And, th and that I think is really good. And I assume that's because of that move of moving away from using open vr allowed that so yeah yeah yeah, yeah but uh, unfortunately we still need uh, uh, steam steam vr um workspace or i don't know how can i say but hopefully uh, there will be a point when we don't necessarily to use uh, uh, steam vr yeah. or my expectation is that steam vr will be much better in the future mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and everybody can accept it to use because because it will be not that slow as now and so on. Honestly, I don't really recognize this uh, this uh, mm. heavy heavy head uh, of Steam VR because uh, the frame rate and everything else is enough for me. Maybe I'm not uh, not a super sensitive person for this uh, few frames more um, stuff. 
but uh, but I, I really hope that SteamVR will be developed uh, in the future and, and will be much better than now. And, and then it's a great advantage for us that we have a solution uh, for that platform. Well, for me, the, because I had read about OpenXR with virtual desktop and so on and about, you know, you get some extra performance. But for me, for, you know, maybe one to five frames extra, I'd rather take the simplicity personally. I, I just want it to be easy yeah. to use. So yeah, I took yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, all right. So I think that's nearly all of the pre-submitted questions, questions, except for one about user instructions and documentation. So yeah, uh, I I absolutely understand that question because I'm 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 not really satisfied what we do on that front even the packaging i mean the not the not the uh how can i say quality of the packaging from the shipping point of view but the uh, quality of the packaging from user experience uh, point of view mm -hmm. i'm not uh, super satisfied because we would like to reach the point when you open up the box then it will be like a let's say Samsung phone or something. So everything is organized and beautiful and stuff like that. So unfortunately we are not there and even we are not there with the, with the instructions and, uh, and these kind of supports. Um, we, if we start to grow or, or, or we will get the investment then we definitely will uh, improve those. Take or spend more attention on that part because we really want to create a, a premium like user experience uh, for for our customers and uh, and it will be it will be happen for sure uh, not not so late even if we don't get the investment even if we get it so I'm I'm I feel that it's a very important part of of our job that the first impressions should be perfect and to start the uh the usage of of our simulator should be super smooth so so i i will definitely will work on it uh, personally yeah I, basically i'm i'm already working on it so we are uh, we are getting some offers from 3d uh 3d uh, video creators to create an assembly video, what we can integrate into our uh, controller application and so on. So, so it's on the table, this topic. I'm unfortunately, we didn't have enough resource yet uh, to, to make some great progresses on that, but, but we are doing small steps. Have uh, you thought, that. have you thought about, um, like starting documentation in like, as a, well, number one, video documentation is great, but if you change the device, you have to recreate the, like I'm already know that I'll recreate my assembly video um, or, or at least update it when you change the footrest um, in the future. Yeah. And already I kind of need to add the new chair, uh, 15 degree chair adapter. Um, but if like text documentation, it, is very hard to beat for its utility for people um, as long as it's got pictures that show things. But um, in my previous business where I had the 3D printing product, we had our documentation as um, it was all text-based, but it was also a, Git, a GitHub project. So other people could submit improvements to it if they wanted to. Um, so oh, okay like allowing the community to help improve it might be a way to get, because it is also a bit of a catch 22 in having really good documentation will probably help improve the number of sales that you get. So. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. I honestly, I, I didn't had this, uh, didn't have this idea to, to make a, let's say an open source uh, documentation about our, uh, device but uh, it's definitely a, a good idea even we can do it in here in discord or maybe github or something i'm not super familiar with these techniques but uh, the the idea is, i can i can talk to you about that is uh, so. is definitely good yeah okay so that's all of the pre-submitted questions so i'll go on to what people have submitted 
during the call. So, um, all right. All right. So, uh, the f first one that we haven't answered already was about the mod to give us the 30 degree forward pitch. So I, that's connected to the new chair riser. Um, we may as well clarify, is that new chair riser the default that ships with all yours now? The 15 From now, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so anyone so who's looking future, to order, you don't have to this. order that separately. It's, it's, it's what ships by mm -hmm. default. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying for anyone who's placing an order, you don't have to order that separately. It is, it is the default that comes with the chair. So. Exactly. Um, but there, there is, or there will be, I don't know exactly. Sorry. If, no, okay. uh, sorry that I don't know that, but, uh, we already have a solution, but I don't know if it's already available in, in our store. Uh, that if you have a ya 2 or or ya 3 but the uh, previous version the version then you will be able to buy a, a, a extra module what you can uh, screw on your original uh, uh, plate yep. uh, i mean the adapter mm -hmm. and and then you, you will be able to use uh, or utilize this uh, 15 okay. degrees uh, solution uh, that's good because you had earlier said that it was compatible and when I checked it against mine, the which was a very early build of the Yaw 2, it didn't didn't fit. So I sh that's just an intermediary adapter, I'm, I assume you mean. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so yes, um, Kalev Kalelvis um, asked, can there be documents for troubleshooting? So... Um, I will share in case people are watching my screen and just show that we do have a troubleshooting um, section in the new Discord. So um, here we go in troubleshooting. You can, what you can do is, I'll just close this and show. So you can search. So if I go roller, it automatically searches through all of the existing troubleshooting. Um, I um, I can also use filters so I can look for solved issues. So I only want to see the issues that are solved and that way I know I should be able to find a solution there. I can look for issues that are only related to the or three issues that are hardware or issues that are software. Um, so yeah. Um, and then I'll just move this down so you can see. Um, so and then when I go to create a post, I don't have a problem at the moment, but let's say base kick, kicker not working. Um, so there's no, it'll say there's no matching posts. So then I go, okay, I need to create a new post and then you can assign, this is a your three, it's a software issue probably, or maybe a hardware issue. So you have to, you have to add those tags as you create the troubleshooting question and that should make it easier with the tagging for you to help with the ones that are things that they can help with. Um, so, and there's also a group for that in the software section, the same, you can do software feature requests. If someone writes a guide, I need some help, that sort of stuff. And then whether it's for game engine, infuse virtual here, sim racing studio or other software. So, um, that is largely covered by the discord now. And that's part of the needing to create the official discord was to be able to create this channel structure because we weren't able to, because we didn't have sufficient permissions to do that on the old discord. So, which wasn't owned by your, so, so there we go. Um, uh, Hany Ciro asked, can they replace their pro your two that they received last year for your three? Um, I, I'm not sure. I'm going to assume that he got a full your two. Is there any, will you look to provide an option for someone in that case to upgrade to a your three at some point in time, if they'd like to? Yeah, we're thinking about that to do some, uh, some offerings for, uh, for our, uh, customers. I mean, yeah, to customers or backers who already received their unit, uh, we, we don't have a final decision about that, or I mean the a final idea that, but we definitely would like to offer something uh, for the upgrade. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's uh, not super easy because uh, because 
the old one and uh, the new one, I mean the R2 and the R3, basically from motion point of view is the same. The uh, look, looks like, is uh, I don't know in English, but uh, so uh, the looking is the same. Uh, so the internals are totally basically the yeah. doors are the same, the electronics almost the same. There are lots of uh, uh, similar uh, parts. So, so basically, the two units are very close to each other. But unfortunately, we don't, uh, we cannot really use the ya two for upgrade it and sell it again or something. Uh, so that's why it's a little bit hard to me. So uh, I think if we, uh, when we will uh, introduce some kind of program for our uh, previous customers as an upgrade program. It will be like a, like a strategic uh, decision and not a business decision yeah, from yeah. our side. Yeah. Uh, we we are definitely thinking about that and and hopefully we will be able to uh, announce something uh, soon. Okay. Um, Doc Holiday asks: Has have any your threes been shipped with the updated roll rollers, and how far back were those sent out? Uh, I think yes. Uh, so since a few weeks or something, uh, we are we are using the new ro rollers. The new rollers means it's a little bit uh, more uh, thick, yeah. and uh, and it and it gives us uh, a little bit more uh, plastic on on the roller part. Uh, because the main issue was not the the roller. Uh, how can I say the so not not uh, there was no problem with the material of the of the surface of the roller, but it it was just uh, going uh, uh, on the sideway and and uh, uh, loosen uh, from from the from the metallic Perfect. roller. Yeah. So that was the main issue, uh, and hopefully with this new roller we could uh, solve that. And there was another uh, technical stuff that. If the raw unit goes uh, to the end uh, end position, then it could hit the, that roller, and maybe it it helped to to loosen that uh, uh, surface. Mm -hmm. So, so we think it's already solved, uh, and and I, I hope it it is. We didn't uh, received any issue with the new rollers yet. It doesn't mean that there won't be, uh, but but we didn't uh, experience any issue with the new rollers yet. Sure. Um, all right. So, uh, for the audience that's yeah. still here, do you have any extra questions? Because that that's all the questions we've had. So, please type in the stage or ask to join the call if you like. Um, can people purchase extra rollers? Uh, yes and no. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the yes means that we are happy to provide uh, rollers. Uh, I don't think we want to ask money for it. Of course, if if he or I, she wants to buy, I don't know, one one hundred units. No, no. It's, what it's what if someone? What if someone legitimately needs? replacements but also would like to get an extra set of replacements so that they're not potentially in the future so, waiting so, yeah absolutely so if somebody uh experienced any issue with the rollers then we definitely will send uh, a free replacement uh and if somebody wants to buy i i don't think we will put it on the web shop maybe yes i don't know but uh, but just write us to info at yavr.com and uh, and we will just figure out something uh, to send yeah. it out. Another option. Of course, if another option, just a few people. So, sorry. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Another option, potentially it doesn't make financial sense for you to offer it as a product on the store because of the extra work involved. But maybe if you if the supplier is available selling on AliExpress or something, you could like we could find yeah it's also yes it's also possible yeah absolutely so as long as, as, long as there's a way to get the spare parts that. i think so 
Yeah, I just wanted to tell that if uh, if a few people want some extra rollers, then we we definitely will send it out for free. Mm -hmm. If uh, if there are lots of people who want extra rollers, <laughs> then we have to ask uh, money for that. Or or as you as as you mentioned, we will just uh, uh, release the source and and anyone can buy uh, any Themself. quantity. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um... Okay, I th I think. Um, do you have anything else you want to say at the moment, Salt? We don't have any extra questions at this point. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm I'm just thinking about that. Uh, yeah, so uh, not, nothing else. I think we covered most of the important topics. Uh, maybe uh, one one sentence about the Heath platform. Uh, we we are. Still working on it. I know I, I, I'm every every time I say that, but uh, but now we have a a new technology. What we want to try uh, because uh, because the the current prototype what we have in house uh, for the heat platform is is let's say just a brute force stuff, uh, and and uh, we don't really like. I I don't really like it because it's heavy. The motion range is uh, too uh, too small and and stuffs like that. So it's not really a, a Yasri like uh, product. Uh, so we want to make some some small invention uh, to make uh, that unit as lightweight as possible mm -hmm. and as high uh, motion with as high motion range as possible. So our main goal is to have the highest. Uh, G platform or heat platform motion range, uh, which which exists uh, on the market, uh, and and now I see a good chance for that because because we just uh, uh, invent a new technology, uh, so so I'm excited about that and uh, and I don't know yet when we will be able to show a prototype, but but we are definitely working on that and and I'm excited. Yeah. Um... Hani Siro did just ask one more question. Is Peter still with you guys? I assume he's on studying or something like that. But there's... Uh, Sorry, I didn't, uh, didn't uh, have he's a He's basically asking, is Peter still with, with you all? So... Oh, no, unfortunately, Peter left uh, the company, but we are in a very good relationship. So basically, we are friends. Uh, uh, he's working uh, at another company now, but uh, hopefully one time we will be able to work uh, together again. again. Yeah. Um, I, I do have a couple of things that I want to sort of bring into the conversation. Um, if if you'd like to maybe, or if we can talk a little bit about future um, direction for Game Engine um, and Infuse. So at, at the moment, like we know that controller-based tracking is coming soon or you know, coming reliably soon. Um, is there much of a roadmap? Do you have much of a roadmap for additional features that you'd like to add to Infuse in the future or? Uh, I mean, I assume for maybe like, yes, sorry, go ahead. Maybe like, I mean, some of it's going, I assume going to be based on headset capabilities like eye tracking might come in in the future. But at the moment, doesn't make yeah, sense. As, so. as you know, Infuse VR is based on AR VR uh, streaming solution, and uh, they are continuously. Luckily, uh, <laughs> honestly, it's a big luck for us because if if there is no AR VR and AR VR is not uh, an uh, under an develop. MIT license, then we don't we we wouldn't have a chance to develop uh, Infuse VR. So it's a it's a huge uh, luck uh, or big luck uh, for us. And by the way, Infuse VR is not uh, uh, with with the controller-based motion compensation is is absolutely not depending on uh, Yasri. So even other motion simulator uh, users, I mean non non Yas uh, motion simulator uh, gamers can use it yeah. for for motion compensation. Uh, so I think uh, uh, ALVR will always uh, uh, be up to date uh, regarding the new technologies, mm -hmm. like for example eye tracking and so on. And it's already built in uh, ALVR, by the way. Uh, 
uh, and uh, and regarding infuse vr our long-term plan what is already done uh, from sign point of view is that uh, to integrate infuse vr and game engine and every other software into one package mm -hmm. uh, for example now we have game engine as an independent software uh, but if you if you start infuse vr it can start uh, game engine uh, in the background and you don't have to set up anything mm -hmm. so that that's the main goal to to reach the point when you just install one software uh, and you get everything, the streaming, the motion compensation, the game engine, uh, even with game engine in, in the, let's say, middle, middle uh, mid-term uh, plan to integrate not just the motion uh, capability, but the, uh, how can I say, the... Uh, haptics, uh, the sound. Uh, sound. Uh, haptic, yes, yeah. thank you. So I requested haptic, that, uh, I requested that. So. <laughs> I yeah, it, that. it was your yeah. absolutely. It was your suggestion. Uh, if I want to be honest, I I didn't know very well this uh, this uh, haptic feedback feedback system, and I have just after you mentioned, I have just realized that uh, we can generate uh, 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 how can I say voice like or or sound like uh, waveforms hmm. and send it to. to to uh, to a different uh, sound, card. Uh, sound card yeah. or channel, and uh, and yeah, it's it's just obvious that we have to integrate it into into the game engine. Uh, so that is another other plan. We want to integrate into game engine more math capability. That means you can do anything with the gaming uh, signals. Uh, you want. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, integrate the cloud-based uh, uh, profile sharing, which we already have some solution uh, for that, but uh, we, we didn't uh, switch it on yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to further develop it a little bit. And my uh, regarding game engine, my ultimate goal would be to provide a, an interface uh, to make possible to anyone to create plugin for any game, so that means uh, it's uh, I, I don't have uh, an exact idea how to develop it, but I, I want to make some kind of interface which will be able to connect uh, uh, any game with uh, with the uh, with a standard standardized uh, uh, motion profile. I don't know. Uh, something and uh, and in that case anyone would be able to create a new plugin and of course new profile for that plugin so that that's the strategic direction where we want to go mm -hmm. to make uh, that part as easy uh, as possible i mean to use vr uh, and connect to games as easy as possible, possible. yeah so um i I've been working with the software developer of GE like for some of the things that I wanted, like adding that there was already Elite Dangerous support, but uh, it had only the, the ships were supported. So I asked if he could make it work for the SRV, which is the moon lander vehicle. And through part of that discussion, I think he mentioned that the format that the data ended up in could be used as a generic way to get telemetry in um, but okay. also you know I started but didn't do a lot with my idea about a, an open motion telemetry standard which I still mm -hmm. do I still do plan to come back to it's just I've been very busy and um, but I, I do think it's an important that's, thing that's for good, the entire that's a good and very important idea yeah I, I should say yeah um, I, I think that will be I think if we can get enough momentum behind it, having one st a standard way to do it will increase the amount of games that get released with motion support and make it far easier for the intermediary software to implement plugins. I mean, they could just have a generic open motion telemetry plugin and then save out a profile for each game from that. It should, should increase adoption massively, I would think so. Um, I'm really sure that this, this is the future, yes. Yeah. Um, 
and and I already I had put in a reasonable amount of work to that, but I I, I really need to get um, game developers and hardware developers on site. So, I mean, I know you're already on site, and Igor from Doff Reality yeah. has indicated that he's um, am- amenable to the idea. But I yeah I I I'd, I'd love to get some contacts at Microsoft or and other places that we can start an ongoing dialogue about this it's not something i can just i don't think i can just go here here's a standard it has to be discussed amongst all of the key, uh, absolutely. key stakeholders absolutely. so um uh yeah so the yeah i did me talking about the software was about sort of about mentioning the the sound support um also uh the i i requested the ability f- for so your your discussion there about integrating i think totally makes sense for your customer but because infuse is of value to non your customers um and i'd already submitted a request to you about potentially having infuse be able to launch uh, applications that you define rather than automatically launch game engine for instance because even some your customers might decide they want to use sim racing studio instead so having it launched that would be good and if you can define what it launches then you don't have to worry about what it is it can just be you could have a preset uh, configuration to lo- to launch ge if it's there but then allow the user to change it or something like that so but i think these are um it i think it's all moving in the right direction from my perspective i'm um I still would like to um, have some input into the UX of Game Engine, but um, like from a user-friendly point of view. But I think you know it's improving, and that, uh, and I've said this to Zolt, and the the community might not know, but my feedback about the flex on the leg rest is really at this point the last feedback I have of things that need to be fixed from a hardware perspective. So um, I haven't had the roll issue occur, but that's just wear and tear as far as I'm concerned when they find the right part, which it sounds like they have. Um, So, you know, I'm quite prepared to stand behind once I get the, the flex improved version of the footrest, I would very, very happily recommend it to anyone um as as a potential uh, motion platform so yeah good work your team and zolt <laughs> um okay well i th- i think we'll call it to an end it's seven o'clock in the morning here so it's it's probably 9 p.m or something for you is it zolt yeah, 9 p.m. Yeah. in hungary so we ran this one in a time zone that we thought would be useful for people in North America. Um, So probably the next one, we might try and tick tack between time zones. So a European time zone next time, just so we're getting a bit of coverage for each of the major sort of customer bases. Um, And yeah, thanks for coming everyone. Sorry about the technical difficulties at the start. Yes, Dennis, I am going to post this on YouTube as well. And we're going to summarize the the, the voice of the call and um, it will be posted in the campaign update as well. So, all right. Yes, maybe maybe just tomorrow because it's a little bit late here in Hungary, but uh, well, you tomorrow have to wait, I You have to wait for me to uh, send you the summarized anyway. So. But yeah, Um, in the next couple of days. So it it probably will be tomorrow, but yeah. Um, So yeah, thanks everyone. Um, I I hope you uh, see the improvements in the new structure of the Discord. Um, The main thing now is just to build up the numbers here. Um, But the dialogue I think has been good so far. And I mean, I can't see the old Discord because I got kicked out of it. But anyway, (laughs) all right. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Uh, Take care and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you, guys. And uh, see you next time.